up with the lip fillers over there in the UK? We got to do something about that. Too many people with lip fillers, too many people that inflate their faces with a whole bunch of stuff. Tanners through the roof. I don't know what's up with these lashes literally being longer than some people's entire hair. And some things need to change, okay? Uh, somebody told me about this Abby Taylor person, and I was looking through their content, and I decided that it would be great to react to them because most of their content is literally just them eating copious amounts of food. By the way, by them, I mean her and her boyfriend, her manses or whatever you want to call them. But she has a, a thing, her signature move, which is she goes into her kitchen, she gets salt, and she'll salt things that just shouldn't be salted. So I'll give you a good example of things that should be salted so that you understand things that shouldn't be salted. French fries. Fine. No problem. Go ahead, salt your French fries. I have no problem with that. When you're cooking meats or something like that, you want to season them up with some salts, fine. That's okay. Seasoning packets of salt on noodles, fine. Noodles necessarily are not good to eat, but if you're going to eat them, probably want to put the seasoning powder in there. Noodles, after they're cooked, nah, uh, got to call it out. No, don't do that one. That's not right. That's, that's diabolical. D salting noodles, rice, rice, <laughs> when it's done, when it's done, literally like Indian rice, like they deliver it to you, you know, an Indian salting on it. Mm, no, not, not, not good. Not good at all. Candy. No, we're not doing that. None of that should be salted at all. But this woman, she doesn't know about that. She loves the salt so much. Forget about the candies. Forget about the sweets. Forget about the diabetes. <laughs> High blood pressure. That's what we doing. Okay. We're turning our blood literally into wax. Because fuck it, dude. We don't drink enough water anyway. And when we do drink liquids, it's usually uh, a Pepsi or some kind of like full fat cola. So we're going to watch this. By the way, eating a Kinder Brownie and then right after that with a Pepsi Max, two sweet things. I don't know if you guys know, but when you when you eat something sweet and drink something sweet right after that, that is, oh, it is so gross because you're just like sweet on top of sweet. It's just diabolical to the mouth. D disrespecting your mouth on a daily basis there should be some type of like law against this or something like in the uk there should be like okay you can eat this but you can't eat you can't drink this after you should be drinking water but yeah whatever man go ahead pizza by the way uh you could just go to the store they used to sell these mama celeste ones way back in the day i don't know what they call them anymore but those are like little frozen pizzas that you could just toss in a microwave whatever I used to body slam, I'm not even gonna lie to you guys, I used to body slam three of them things. Like, I would just throw them in the oven, and i just let them cook for like 30 minutes, come back crispy, crunchy, beautiful, Mama Celeste in my mouth. I was body slamming that shit, consistently. The deluxe ones as well, because those ones had the most on them, and they were like a dollar a piece. They used to be less than that, way back in the day. Uh, used to be able to get like 10 of them for five bucks, which is really good, what else you gonna get? But that was way back in the day. Uh, back when a McChicken was a dollar or less. Nowadays, you'd be lucky to get a McChicken for under $3, which is crazy as fuck. Who the fuck is spending $3 on some musty-ass chicken? It's probably not even chicken. It's probably like chicken foreskin or something like that. Or like, a, I don't even know, like it's probably a hoof in there or something like that. Or maybe the Indonesian guy that put it together. Uh, maybe he cut off a little bit of his foreskin to give you some nutrition. I mean, really think about this, right? You're really getting some deliciousness in that McChicken nowadays. For a dollar, though, most people don't care. I would eat an Indonesian man's foreskin for a dollar? Why not, dude? What do you want from me, dude? Nobody gives a fuck. It is what it is. It's a one dollar, dude. I got no morals for a dollar. So if I'm doing that and I'm eating foreskin, Indonesian man foreskin, for three dollars? Nah. <clears throat> I'm going to need something more spicy than that. I'm going to need something a little bit more deluxe. I'm going to need something probably from Korea or maybe some like some a little bit more flavor, maybe an Indian man's foreskin. Or if I'm really reaching right now, uh, maybe some Egyptian, fine Egyptian foreskin, something that's been aged. You know what I'm talking about? Something like that, you know, uh, some Pharaoh foreskin, if you will. But anyway, um, I don't know where she got this. Maybe this is like all together, uh, 1,300 calories, which is diabolical, absolutely insane. Already like it's 2 PM and you're already at 1,300 calories, by the way. Most women here in America need about 2,000 calories, but if I'm being honest with you, a lot of women don't even need anywhere close to that. I've seen tons of women that have been around the same height of like, mm, let's say hypothetically five foot one, five foot two, five foot three, and they only really realistically need like anywhere between 1,200 and 1,800. That's usually the, the, the understanding that I have for most women. So 1,300 calories is already stretching pretty hard on that, on that one thing. It's not even halfway through the day yet. They don't even look good. What's up with Greg's? 
Greg's over there in the UK. We don't have Greg's here. We got Walmarts. That's what we go to. And I guess you can go to like different places like that. Ikea's, they sell meatballs and shit like that. I haven't been to an Ikea in my entire life. I know there are people out there that do like going to Ikea. But here in America, people don't go to Ikea to suck meatballs. It's just not what we do. We go to like other other places right um but like bj's and stuff like that maybe there's a food court in there but we don't usually go to places where they sell furniture and eat food that's weird but in the uk it seems like it's pretty common and then greg's uh people have told me that it's not a fast food place but it's kind of like a convenience store but like a more a more superior convenience store where you could buy like regular foods as well we don't have that here i mean you might have a few bodegas on the corner of the street where they're selling beef patties jamaican beef patties and they try to hustle you on the, on the prices. You know, you walk in there and you you be like, hey, man, um, how much were the beef fatties? And these things have probably been sitting there for three or four days sometimes, maybe even longer. And they're just on those rotisserie things, you know? And they talk to you, hey, window, how much you have today? How much you have in your pocket today? How much money, cash money do you have? We don't take card here. If you use card, it's going to be $4 extra on anything that you buy. We don't like card. You got cash. We only like cash here. And you have to argue with them um, about how you know that it's illegal to, for them to charge more money based off the cards that you use. Nobody carries around cash anymore, dude. It's been probably years since I had a dollar bill in my wallet, dude. And when I do have money in my wallet, it's only because I found it somewhere. Um, but I don't know. Anyway, it doesn't fucking matter. We don't have it here. That's all I'm saying. By the way, diabolical it's salt. All salt, man. Diabolical, disgusting pizza and Cheese, cheese cheese bits, whatever those things were. Disgusting. And french fries? Oh, damn. Your lips are in the way. Why are you so why is she so aggressive with the food? That's all I want to know. 140 calories just for a candy bar? Kind of crazy. Damn, it kind of looked like the Grinch is throwing it back a little bit. What is this? Is this is it the butt cheek right here, dude? Why the Grinch got so much? So much detail back there. Nah, dude, you're playing with me, dude. You're not You're not actually eating a jar of Nutella. You're, you're joking, bro. Well, it may not be a jar, but it's most definitely at least a spoon. <laughs> More than a spoon, a heaping tablespoon. How many, how many calories is that? I don't fucking know, dude. Whatever, man. Damn. Oof. Just eating a spoonful of Nutella is actually kind of crazy. I think that's probably like 300 calories. Am I wrong? That was probably like 300 calories of just Nutella. I'm not even joking. Like, I know she's trying to joke around here. That's actually a lot of calories for just like a little, little, a little bit of Nutella. Just for some context, you can probably eat like a solid chicken breast for like a little bit under that. Way under that. Damn, two, more than just, more than just one tablespoon. My, my bad. Dude, I thought it was, I thought it was just one tablespoon. My bad is way more than that. She's kind of going crazy, bro. You doing this shit for free too? Are you just posting this on TikTok? Let me tell you something, okay? There's a big market. I'm going to tell you something real quick. If you find the right place and you find how to advertise yourself, you might be able to eat Nutella off the spoons and maybe other things for a good amount of money. I mean, there are dudes out there that are watching women fart on cakes. There are dudes out there asking women what kind of, like, if they have vaginas. Dude, this is a common thing, okay? Like, guys will literally pay money for you to tell them that you have a vagina. I mean, it's, ob it's crazy nowadays. I've talked to some guys that are so down bad that they'll just pay a woman just to talk to them. And... That's sad, but then again, look at it from the perspective that you're in. If you're a woman and you want to make money, a guy's willing to spend money on him going, hey, what does your butthole smell like? And all you got to be like, it smells good. He'll be like, oh, ooh, uh, <clears throat> I'll be back in probably four hours. Uh, how much is that? $50? No problem. No problem, dude. You remember when women were selling socks, like used socks and used panties, but women weren't actually doing anything with the panties at all. They were just like, going to, I don't know like B&M or whatever store they could get panties for like a dollar. And then they were just like, I don't know, rubbing the panties with like uh, vinegar or whatever and just shipping them out. And the men were like smelling them for years at a time, which is really down bad, bro. Come on, man. You're disgusting for that, dude. I mean, I don't, you know, listen, I'm not here to sit, sit here and say vaginas don't smell good. They don't smell the most appetizing from time to time. But I remember that trend on TikTok when girls were vabbing. Remember that? When they were like dipping their fingers in their vaginas and they would go, Mm, it's the right flavor, girl. Trust me on that. It's better than bombshell. It's better than that 86 that you can get 
at whatever that store is, Sephora, mm, it's better than all that. You better understand, girl. Yes. Yes, the pheromones. So, I don't know, man. What are we doing today? <laughs> We're weird. We're fucking weird, bro. It's that everything you make is either fast food or air fryable. It's all brown. Everything is just brown. This actually makes sense, though. Like, if I'm being honest, this, this 1,296, not 1,292 calories makes sense with two pieces of chicken burgers with chips, tomato sauce, and Fanta? It makes a little bit of sense. I mean, nah, let me be honest for a second. It's probably more close to 1,000. A lot of fucking butter on that shit. Damn, it's a fuck ton of fries, bro. Up. She, that's a correct application. I'm not gonna lie to you, dude. She's a pro. I'll give her that one. How do you eat it like this, though? Do you just like flip over the bread? Why is the bread so long? Okay, that's a lot. Okay. Damn, plate big as fuck. Oh, she did flip the burger. Damn, bro. That shit was coated with butter, too, though. Why is your bread so thick over there in the UK? unnatural about this woman. I don't know. Something I'm seeing about her. It's like all her portions are in the bottom half of her face. More ketchup? Damn. That shit already had a ton of ketchup on the burger, but she gotta add more in. Ah, damn. Surprised there's anything left. Oh, this is the first time I've ever seen water, dude. The entire day. Your liver must be crying, dude, but it can't because it's got no liquid. Can't cry without any liquid, dude. Isn't that sad? That's so that's so sad. I would cry if it wasn't for the fact that I haven't drank water in months. Candies. Yeah, that makes sense. And chips. Damn, two bags though? That's kind of diabolical how they don't be putting a lot of stuff in that bag, bro. They could easily add like another third into this bag and it'd be fine. Oh, she watching Scoop. Let's do Scooby Doo. We're coming after you. We're gonna solve that mystery. I see you, Scooby Doo. Diabolical, dude. 12,000 calories. I mean, if I'm being honest, it's probably not anywhere close to that. But I wouldn't be surprised if it was about a third of that, which is about 3,000, maybe 4,000 calories. Yeah. I mean, that makes about that makes about a sense to me. I mean, I literally just saw this woman eat Nutella off a spoon. Yeah, this is just like what she does on her channel. Like, this is just it. She just eats copious amounts of food and she documents it. She doesn't really usually count the calories, though, because it's pretty hard to count the amount of calories that you're eating in a day, given the fact that they don't really even understand how calories work. Like, what is 12,000 calories if you don't even know what the appropriate amount of calories is? And then a lot of people do cope with it. Ah, I walked. I walked. What are you doing? I walked up like three flights of stairs today. I deserve this. Big as fuck. Damn, that shit thick too, bro. Big and thick. But I'll give her something here. She's an appropriate eater. Holding the cookie in the barrier of the plastic is the right move. It is the right move. I know some people that just be taking that shit straight out raw. On fingers. Chocolate on fingers, dude. And they'll be just milky. That shit will be contaminated. And they'll lick their fingers. <laughs> sucking their fingers off. Dusty ass fingers. And people... They always talk to me and they always go, Dave, you don't wash your hands. Listen to me. I don't wash my hands often because I don't need to, okay? I'm a proper eater. If I'm eating things that are not going to be touching my hands, I don't, I don't let them touch my hands, okay? Uh, when I go urinations, I don't touch my meat. I just don't, okay? I just let my chef free ball. That should just be flying all over the place, right? But I don't touch it. I don't, I don't touch it at all. And of course, some people go, but you touch your doorknob, right? But I clean my doorknob, right? But I clean my doorknob. And plus, I wash my meat daily with soap so it's not even if i did like grab my meat and i just like grabbed it and just started like you know what i'm saying squeezing it whatever i would still not have any meat residue on my hands i wouldn't i wouldn't have any meat marination i wouldn't so if you're out here and you're upset that i don't wash my hands just understand i'm clean okay i wash daily i do i know i'm a dude but i do wash daily and i wash my butthole so that's a common thing for a lot of dudes not to do but i'm different i'm a little bit more Feminine, right? Because I wash my butthole. But anyway. That shit is big as fuck, dude. That shit's like literally the entire one-third of her face. Oh, dude. that It just doesn't taste good. Cookie into Pepsi? 
Pepsi is the sweetest version of cola too, man. It just, it just hurts me, man. It's nasty. It's gross. Pringles too? Damn, man. I'm going crazy right now. Dirty. Dirty. There's like off-brand craft. Is this what that is? Like fake craft? Like craft is already fake. Unboiled water? Huh? With a milk. That shit's gonna be dry. That shit is dry. Dry ass macaroni and cheese, dude? No milk? to yourself why is it this easy it's just all carbs like just macaroni cheese and bread with 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 cheesy pasta what the fuck what do you what is cheesy pasta isn't that a macaroni and cheese i've never heard somebody say cheesy pasta talking about macaroni and cheese that's crazy dude in a piece of bread with butter coated on that thing man i will give her that though she has the crop she does have the proper ratio of butter per bread but uh i gotta keep it a bucket you that's diabolical it's just disgusting <laughs> And Pepsi, yeah, of course. Where the protein? Where the meats at? Where the where the good foods at, man? Just carbs all day. Uh, do this. Take your hair, just tough it out. You know, just let it let it breathe a little bit. Uh, uh, you got that shit underneath the hoodie right now. Monster, no problem, dude. Got to get the caffeine some way, I guess. Baked potato. Salt in a baked potato. I can't eat a lot. Beans on a baked potato. I don't know why so many people like beans over there in the UK. They have told me though, beans are a little bit different compared to the way they are here in America. We don't fuck with beans. We don't really, not really. I fuck with beans every once in a while, but I don't really eat them like this. For some reason, you guys really just be throwing beans on almost anything at all, dude. I saw a dude literally eating beans on a pizza the other day. What is wrong with you guys, huh? Let me, let me talk to you, bruv. Let me talk to you. Let me chat to you. Let me chat to you, bruv. Like, you know, let's talk for a second, dude. What's up with that? That's weird, bro. You got literal vending. You got trucks, cooking, like people that pull up in trucks. You know those big cooking trucks that just sell baked potatoes. Are they really that good? Are they really that good baked potatoes, bro? I, I mean, look, baked potatoes are okay, but they're not all that. I don't know why you guys have a big ass market like that, dude. And that shit's opened up. The way the potatoes opened up, it looks like a... Uh, an alien egg. You ever see that movie Alien? How they open up like a Venus flytrap and a fucking thing comes out and just <laughs> suctions on your throat? That's what it looks like. Damn, I saw cheese under there too, bro. Oh, cheese on. Why is the cheese always so unmelted? Like fermented cheese. Dog subtly judging you. What are you doing, bro? What is that shit? Is everything you eat brown have some diversity bro okay we didn't fight for so long to have diversity you know what i'm talking about e civil rights acts and all this other stuff brown v board we didn't do that for you not to have a little bit of diversity in the diet show some greenages show some other foods why the fuck is it all brown man that shit by the way that shit looks kind of suspicious man that should look like somebody at the factory might have had a little slip up something and then something flew into the bag. That's all I'm saying. It's just brown. But at least it's at least it's at least it's protein, I suppose. I mean, it's kind of overcooked as fuck, but oh, that's how we remedy the dryness. Damn, that's kind of a lot. That's a lot. Damn, the box? The whole box, dude? Damn. Big ass fucking bag, dude. What is that? A quadruple family, dude? Yeah, that's this is unsanitary, bro. I mean, look, I, you know, salt is good. It's a I. I mean, let me let me be honest. It's it's appropriate depending on what you're eating, but like, yeah, it's kind of salt on on this cooked pasta. It's kind of a little bit. Uh, it's a little bit far, in my opinion. Uh, like you couldn't you couldn't throw it in beforehand. Good lord, with the cheese and Pepsi? 
it's kind of hard. It, it, it's, it's a little bit too easy for this woman to just add salt and cheese to everything that she cooks. At least it's got, at least it's not totally brown, right? What I eat today? So for breakfast, I had a tray of chocolate cake. Oh my God. Huh. Oh yeah? Oh yeah? Tray, huh? That's a... Uh... Uh, what kind of serving size is that exactly? Like, I don't think they really intended you to eat the tray. I don't. I think that the tray was probably made for like more than just one person. Like, you know that, like you're just one person, right? Like you're. And this is breakfast. Uh, uh <clears throat> I gotta let you. I gotta let you know something. That's kind of a lot. Mm, that's a lot. That's more than actually a lot. I think this is actually made for a family, and I don't think you're supposed. I think that family was supposed to eat that over a few days. And you're drinking a Coke? Sorry, my bad. A Pepsi, sorry. <laughs> a Pepsi. With that shit? You're joking. Nah, nah, you're playing with me, bro. Come on, dude. Stop playing with me, dude. Why are you doing this to me? Come on. Oh, this just reminds me of primary school. I literally had to buy it. And it was so, so good. But not as good as what I remember, which is quite annoying, to be fair. I also had to pay up max with this. The amount of cake here is literally made for like a child's birthday party. And this woman is like literally double dip and fork right into it. Ensuring that whenever somebody does get a little extra piece off the side that's not her, they have to now deal with the backwash of her mouth residue, her mouth marination right upon the chocolate cake as well. And what is this like stuff on the cake? What is this like pasta? Why does it look like that? It's such a weird looking cake. It's because as you all know, I am absolutely obsessed with Pepsi Max and do not go like half an hour without one. I was what? just eating it straight out the tray and I was like, mmm, this would be better warmed up. So I took a massive slab of it, put it in a bowl. Of course, it's a winning pool bowl. And Damn, like, bro. Just, you, you can't use the same fork, okay? Like, this just... It just like reassures me that this is just for her. Even if she doesn't eat the whole thing now, even just a slice of that has got to be like a couple hundred calories easily. And put it in the microwave and oh my God, look how good this looks. Whatever, I burnt my whole mouth eating this, but honestly, it's so good. And I highly recommend go and warm up your chocolate cake. And then after this, I went and had some cheese and onion squares. Yes, I like- Yeah, there's nothing better than eating some chocolate cake that you just bought, a giant chocolate cake. And then right after that, a giant, my bad. <laughs> well, let me stop. A giant chocolate cake, and then some Pepsi, and then right after that, some sour cream and onion. Obviously. My crisps. I don't understand why you are not doing the same. It is like so valid. Go and do it. You actually won't regret it, and you won't look back. No, after no water, no water in sight. And then I had a wee hey. brew extra. Why do you guys have the caps that uh like are attached to them? Like, is that is that just because you guys are more concerned about like recycling than us? You know recycling really doesn't work, right? I mean, maybe it's like different here in America, but most shit here in America is not recyclable. Like that little thing on the back of the bottle that shows you the recycling thing, that just shows, that's just the plastic. That's just the, 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 the amount of plastic they use, like the different type of plastic. It's not actually recyclable. Be healthy, don't drink your calories. And that burger is, that burger is dry, dude. That is a very, very <laughs> burger, man. Look at that shit. Then I got a Burger King. Oh my God, there's something about- Burger that. King? Maybe it's different. Maybe it's different over there in the UK. You could never catch me. The thing that I absolutely love. It is so expensive, but it's so, so worth it. I took those stupid pickles out. Honest to God, I hate pickles. They're so vile. Then why didn't you tell them no pickles? Whenever I go to Burger King, I always get two lots of their chips because the chips are so good that I just need like hundreds of them. Then me and Connor got a Chinese. This Damn. is what he gets. He gets like a munchie box. Damn. And then I get like all the wee sides. So I get some <gasps> chips, rice <gasps> and mozzarella oh, sticks. That's... I'm sorry, but mozzarella sticks from the Chinese. What are you doing? On the rice? On the rice? Never. Never in your life would you ever see somebody putting salt on rice. That is diabolical. It's just different. They are so, so good. And then I done the wee prawn cracker hack thing where you like put it in the rice and it all like stays in the rice and it's like a wee bowl. Man, you got a hack on how to eat Chinese food, dude? It's already bad enough. Oh my god, I did not know you could do this, but so nice. And a pizza? Yo, get the fuck out of here, dude. Nah, dude, you, you got an addiction, man. What are you doing right now? How much takeout you need in a day? Good lord. I was being extra, extra goody, so I got a wee chippy. Oven pizzas from a chippy is never not good. And then I get chips, and I literally, if anybody knows me, I drown them in vinegar. Like, I have salt on them too, but drown them in vinegar. 
just make it as unhealthy as humanly possible, basically. Like, there's, you know what? If the goal is to expect speed run life at this point, dude, making our blood as thick as humanly possible. And of course, brim sauce. No chippy is complete without brim sauce. What is brown sauce? Can somebody let me know what that tastes like? What does that taste like over there? And then I know it's not barbecue. I know it's not. But like, what is it? What does it taste like? Give me like a, an idea. Two in the morning, I woke up starving. So I went and got two in the morning. You getting a five piece? One, two, three, four. Hold that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. A ten piece. I think she got a ten piece. A nine piece? I didn't even know they made a nine piece. A nine piece? I had no idea they made nine Probably pieces, dude. McDonald's because, well, why not really? True. Yeah, that's all. So for dinner tonight, me and Connor got a Chinese. So I'm gonna show you what we got. So normal chips. Fried rice with the Chinese, obviously. I've never seen it here in America, but yeah, fine. I. Salt and chili chips. More French fries, basically, right? Just for, looks like French fries with bed bugs. Oh my God, they look amazing. Salt and chili. Are they chicken bites or what? Does everything need to have salt on it or? Chicken bites. Fried rice. Fried rice is most definitely going to be coated in salt. More salt than was probably cooked in. Yeah. Curry sauce for Connor. Ew. She don't like the curry sauce. And plain noodles we no veg. Probably going to salt that as well, right? Oh. Curry salt. <laughs> oh my god. Man, dude, I know that's not her food either. Is she just over here literally coughing on that shit? I know it's not her food because the dude literally is coating it with the curry salt or the curry, sorry, the curry sauce. She just said she don't want that shit. She said it's nasty. So I know that's not for her. And she's just over here casually. Oh, yo. Wow. That food looks so, hold up. <coughs> uh, yeah, that shit don't look that good, bro. But you can go ahead and eat that. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure that... <coughs> I'm sure that's great. I'm sure that's awesome. Amazing. You over here coughing on my shit. What are you doing? Right. It sounded like she was, she was, it sounded like she was about to wind up for another one. You heard that? You heard that like, like she was going for that second round. That was the pump action, dude. That's his corners. I knew it. That is, it looks good. And it's also more flavored up because your girlfriend coughed on it. So it's like, you know, you get, you get a little bit of her in everything you eat, you know? I, I honestly wish I like curry sauce. Now look at that, it looks amazing. But I just don't like curry sauce, man. So that's his. You got a problem over there at the UK. You guys be on some different shit. <laughs> like you guys real deal just be eating like crazy over there, man. What's up with this shit? This is Chinese, huh? This is what you think of when you think of Chinese food? I'm thinking about crab ragouts, bro. I'm thinking about some, you know, shrimp fried rice. I'm thinking about some lobster sauce, dude. I'm, this, uh, nah, not really. And then that is mine. It looks so boring and dry compared to his, but it's so good. And then we've also got prawn crackers as well. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. It's but damn, damn. It's so good. Uh, damn. And we've also got damn. Well. Damn, a lot of salt, dude. What the fuck is all that? Your mouth is gonna be finished. How much water you drink after that shit? Good lord, she kept going with it too. Six a.m. in the morning eating a velvet cupcake is crazy, bro. That is insane work right there. Man, what a way to start your day, man. Most people just got a cup of coffee, maybe I don't know some eggs and something like that. Did you put salt on that too, or? God, mm. it's gonna take a little bit of time to clean that off too. It's on a necklace. That's just gonna be in the necklace, man. That's fucking gross, man. You out here literally, you're, you're diabolical, man. Yeah, you're, you're a disgusting ass person, dude. You really got the, the frosting on your neck. Man. And you're happy about that? You think that's good? You think that's funny? You think that's funny, huh? You like that shit? Okay. Where's the water? Where, where, why do you never have water? Be cream in a soda. Oh, your mouth just gotta have no taste buds at this point, huh? Yeah, it's like all them taste buds just really just register the same flavor after that Krispy Kreme. It's just nothing but sweetness. And then you finish yourself off with a with a Fanta. Oh. Damn, big ass bite. Damn. Damn. 
can't do any more on this girl dude uh don't be recommending me shit like this this is fucking diabolical bro how much salt you need on your food dude you imagine ordering chinese food and you're sitting here going like yeah, I'm gonna, let me just go ahead and put more salt on that shit yeah mm. i need my mouth to literally look like anyway guys we're gonna end the video here uh, I appreciate for everybody. I could like the video, like, comment, subscribe, sharing the video, all that stuff that I appreciate tremendously. So if you could do that down below, I uh, appreciate any of that stuff. Thank you so much. If you watch the video in its entirety, leave it down below by typing in salt or if there's like a salt emoji, you could put that down there too because I feel like that is definitely the definitive understanding of this video is just salt. It's all salt. All of the whole thing is just salt. Salt, 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 salt. It's like playing League. League of Legends, dude. You want more salt? Play League, right? Anyway. Thank you, everybody. I know you guys appropriately salt your food. You don't just randomly be dumping salt on your shit consistently as if that shit has no flavor on it at all. Like, if you if you need to salt like that, then your food has no flavor or your mouth is only registering the salt. That's it. Like, that's it, man. But anyway, I love you guys. Thank you so much for spending time with me tonight. I hope this is a good video for you. Thank you so much for uh, being here, enjoying the entertainment. You guys are beautiful, spectacular, amazing organisms. You smell really great today, and I appreciate you tremendously. Thank you for your eyebrows looking defined. Anyway, social medias will be linked down below in the description. Enjoy the rest of your day, guys.